What up, y'all? Welcome back to the third video of my Firebase series. Last time, if you remember, we saw how to insert data into our database. And in this video, uh, we'll do the same, but instead of using something static like member that we used last time, we are going to uh, make it a variable that would automatically increment as we add new data. Simple. So, uh, the thing about this video is that most part of this video uh, will be the same as the last one. Uh, the changes are only made at the end. So uh, I highly encourage you to uh, check out my last video as I won't be explaining things in detail here. So uh, check that one out. Uh, now I have already shown you this uh, layout. Now we are getting into the coding part. And this part actually I showed you in my last video and um, I really recommend you to check that one out because uh, that has a lot of details in it. Uh, here we are just doing what we did the last time, uh, defining variables, establishing references, things like that, you know. Uh, we are using find view by id function to get our reference. Alright, uh, now I gotta make one for the height. Now I also have to uh, make a reference for the button. Okay, good. Now I have to uh, make another reference for our database. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm using the variable ref, just like we did last time, nothing new. Okay, now let me make a child for our database and let me name it as member. Cool, we're good to go. Now uh, I have to create a new class, a Java class for uh, our function to work. I'm naming it member and also in this file we are uh, going to do what we did the last time. Uh, there won't be much changes in here too, so data and now I have to uh, define a constructor and also generate getter and setter. I already explained the use of this getter and setter in my last video uh, so you can check that out like I said before. So it's very essential to uh, for you to follow the pattern of this video otherwise you won't be understanding things that I've been saying in this video and it won't make any sense for you so that's why it is important for you to follow the correct order so that everything will make sense uh, okay now let's get back to our thing now I am making a click listener so that when we uh, tap the button it will uh, send the data into the database. So we have to send every data to our database so we have to define what kind of data are to be sent while we pressing the uh, save button in our layout. So let me do this real quick. This is for the phone number and this one, uh, yeah, I have to create one for, yeah, I already created an object up there and I'm using that object to send data, okay. I'm using that object to access the member class and I'm also sending data via the member class. All right. Uh, I guess we're good to go. Now uh, let's make a toast, and uh, not the actual toast, <laughs> a toast message to um, to uh, give some kind of feedback for our users to see if they have successfully submitted the data or not. Now here comes the real part, the real uh, part of this video. We have defined a variable called max ID and also provided it a value. And now what we are doing that we are using the data snapshot uh, 
function uh, and using that we are uh, seeing if there is any change has been made to our database and if there any change has been made to our database then we have to increase the uh, the number of the variable that we have already defined so that way uh, uh, when you insert new data that element will be automatically incrementing so that's the code for it and as you can see I'm using the ref variable that I've created for accessing the database and I'm also uh, incrementing the value of max ID by one that's very evident in that code now let me run that real quick to see if that's work okay and um, uh, let me also uh, turn on the browser so that you can see everything in real time uh, I need some values here okay 46.8 just some random value Okay, now we have this, we have the toast. Yeah, okay. You can see that uh, there is a number one beneath the member tag. That is what we have done. And if I add another data, and you can see that the value has been incremented. Now it has turned to two. So that's the whole point of this video to show you how to uh, do such increments. So it will be useful for you to access them using these numbers rather than static values okay this is much simpler way to access your data within the member tree so that's the whole point of this video i hope you like it and i also hope you find it useful and yeah until next time and please like the video if you like it also do subscribe to my channel and more videos will be coming soon and yeah peace out